This is quite a good study which uh, looked at anti-mullerian hormones levels in laparoscopic ovarian drilling. And what they found out is that there was a significant decrease in serum AMH levels were observed after laparoscopic ovarian drilling. Now, laparoscopic ovarian drilling in the past was extensively used to correct polycystic ovarian syndrome. And what is known that once you either do a laparoscopic drilling, the AMH levels decline. This is consistent with multiple studies, but he also found out that this decline was due to correction of pathological causes of PCOS and mainly the high amount of follicles that are present and leading to normalization. What is important is that if you're planning to do laparoscopic ovarian drilling, it's incredibly important that you have a preoperative AMH levels done. So you choose which cases should be drilled and which cases should not. Also, what this study suggested was that while the AMH dropped, cycles started normalizing and becoming more regular. And that is one of the best changes that you see. And that it did not have a huge impact on the ongoing pregnancy. Now, how often do we do ovarian drilling? And that's very much limited, mainly because with the use of FSH injections that are gonadotrophins, success rates are significantly better. Thank you.